Currently on board are one of West Midlands Railway's new Class 196 diesel multiple units which I've just been informed are hopefully going to be introduced in autumn this year. There has been a bit of delay to the introduction of these units and it's not clear how many have been accepted by uh, West Midlands Railway at the minute but uh, yeah hopefully fingers crossed autumn these will be introduced. There have been issues with introducing these because of Covid. Covid comes into everything but obviously you do have issues surrounding driver training and things like that so COVID, you know COVID gets blamed for a lot but I think in this particular instance it has played a big part in the delay in introducing these units so I've already done a video on the class 197 which is part of the same Civity family from uh, CAF so they are relatively similar I think I said in that video they are almost identical but I was corrected and these are actually quite different so these vehicles I think are a little bit longer than Transport for Wales's Class 197s. They certainly have more windows in the central section between the two door se uh, sections. So you've got that extra room there. These come in uh, two different varieties. So you've got 12 two car units and 14 four car units. So you've got four car formations, uh, whereas Transport for Wales have opted for two car and three car formations. They look relatively similar. I've only been in a mock-up of the Transport for Wales units, but I think the seating is all very familiar. Let's just have a quick uh, sit down in one of these seats here. Let's, um, oh, they are quite firm. Let's just uh, press that padding there. It is, yeah, they quite upright and firm, but I don't know the, um, yeah. I'm probably, probably not as firm as a Class 700, which is the benchmark for chair stiffness i think but um yeah definitely definitely quite firm but then again they might because people say they uh, the chairs might soften eventually can't see any charging points i don't think just having a little bit of a look round. can't see any charging points uh, relax and recharge there's a socket somewhere there is indeed a socket yeah sorry yeah there's a usb and a three pin plug down there so there definitely is charging but it is um, on the table seats, you'll see it's there. And then if you're sat in one of the airline seats, you'll see there is a charging point there. So you've got a three pin plug. Can I just angle that down a bit better? And I think there is USB charging there. So yeah, there is charging facilities, which is kind of an essential thing these days. So this is one of their four car units. It's nice to be able to just walk down a train when it's quiet. One of the things with this being relatively new YouTube channel is walking in trains and talking when there's passengers in it. So it's just lovely to be able to kind of walk down a train and take a look in, at all the details. So we can walk all four carriages of the unit. You've got passenger displays there. I think they'll be similar to the class 195s, which are operating for Northern. They share a similar MTU engine, but I think they have slightly more horsepower. Oh, and this is actually the driver's cab. So is this? I can't remember how many carriages I've walked through, but we may as well take a look at the driver's cab while we're here, because that's what everyone wants to see. So yeah, I haven't seen this with the cab end doors because the mock-up of the Transport for Wales unit had a panel. It looks like this, with all this gubbins here, technical stuff, technical word, is actually a door. That's really clever. So if I just kind of pop my head around here, all sort of control systems and stuff, you've got a little bit of a window there and then cab end connector so you can go through to the next rail vehicle which is just through there so we've got two coupled together so am i yeah this i think this is a four car unit i think i've walked through four carriages but it's coupled to another one just to confuse me and then we've got another station here as well we've got he's got his own door i don't want to play too much around with the doors and things like that but i just want to kind of show you i guess that be for like driver trainers and the staff as well for the guards so there we are yeah it's it's not bad we'll take a look outside as well so we'll just kind of look inside the train but i think as these are brand new trains many passengers well you wouldn't you won't see them until autumn fingers crossed they're not too bad they're not really kind of long distance they're regional the mus they'll certainly be a lot better i think than some of the stock it's not clear I, the guy i tried to speak to wasn't sure if the uh, 172s would be replaced or if some of those would be uh, retained or not. But uh, yeah, they're definitely a, more, a step up, I think. I, I, some people aren't convinced with the Civity platform, but I think they're not too bad trains when you consider what they're replacing. Um, yeah, they're not bad at all.
So just before the rain comes down, I thought I'd try and get a little bit of an outside shot of the Class 196 and it's striking orange and purple livery. I'm still not 100% convinced on the on the colour scheme, but for a branding perspective, I guess it is, it's striking. The purple's not too bad, it's just the uh, the orange, obviously. The orange doors actually is, you know, it's all part of being uh, accessible and things like that. So the, the colourful doors are needed, so, but yeah, you just... Obviously, it's just a train. I don't know how far I can go up. I don't think I can go up too far, but much like the 197s and the 195s, it's an engine per carriage. So, um, you know, if you've got a four car train, it's got 2,000 horsepower about. I think it's got a little bit more than 2,000 horsepower because they're slightly more powerful than the class 197, but they're still kind of uh, 100 mile per hour capable units, much like the 195 and the 197. Other than the length and the formation, there's not a huge difference between them. Obviously, the interiors are a little bit different and things like that from operator to operator but yeah that's a, a class 196 like i said before hopefully being introduced in uh, autumn this year